The challenge of the Yukon. On, King! On, you husky! <laughs> Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. (laughs) Annie Jones had passed the half-century mark. But years of hard living and work in the Yukon country had made her as tough and rugged as an old oak tree. She sighed luxuriously as she stretched her feet in their rough wool socks toward the stove in her small cabin and then began her usual imaginary conversation with her dead husband. Well, Jim, put in a big day's work today. If I can keep working, I'll soon have enough to go back home and buy that house we planned for our old age. But... I ain't so keen about it now that you ain't here no more. Sometimes I think I might stay right here in the Yukon the rest of my life. Spring's here. The snow will be gone in a few weeks. I can't... Excuse me, Jim. Come in. Hello, Annie. Oh, hello, Sam. Come on in. Who's that with you? You remember Nate Roberts? Hello, Annie. Oh, sure, Nate. I was just wondering whether it was someone I'd have to put my shoes on for. Pull up some chairs and sit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this fire feels good. Kettle's getting ready to boil. I'll make you some tea. Oh, don't bother, Annie. You're tired. I hear you're trying to work that claim of yours all alone. Yep. Doing all right, too. Yeah. Mighty heavy work for a woman, ain't it? Oh, I'm used to it. Worked right along with Jim, too. Till he was killed. Everybody thought you'd pack up and go back to Indiana after Jim's accident. Well, I need more money to do that. Annie, that claim of yours don't pay enough with one person working it. It ain't much good. That's where you're wrong. Jim and I always had faith in that claim. Now it's working out. You thinking of selling it? Nope. I've been hitting richer pay dirt lately, and I got a funny hunch that it's going to get better. Hey, is that someone else coming? Take a peek out the window, Nate. Sounds like a dog team. Yeah. Sergeant Preston, the Mountie. Preston? Oh, good. I ain't seen him since before Jim died. Guess I better put my shoes on. He always looks so spick and span. Well, we gotta be running along, Eddie. Come on, Nate. Why don't you stay a while? I'll make some tea. We got some business to tend to in town. Yeah, just thought we'd stop in and see how he was doing. Well, I'm doing fine. Thanks for stopping. Bye. Bye. Hello, Sergeant. How are you, Sam? Hello, Nate. Hello. Come on in, Sergeant. Bring that dog of yours. Ain't seen him in a coon's age. How are you, Annie? Come on, King. <laughs> Hello there, King. Nice fella. Quiet, boy, quiet. Sit right down, Sergeant. You're just in time for some tea. Thank you, Annie. I, uh, was sorry to hear about Jim. They told me about it in town. It was awful sudden. I ain't quite used to it yet. I keep thinking he'll come in any minute. Just happened a little over two weeks ago. Well, what actually did happen? A cave in on the ridge leading beside the river. He was alone. He found a place where the rock had loosened. He must have stepped on it and gone over the edge somehow. The ice had just broken up in the river, and I guess he hit his head on a piece of it. He found his body about 50 feet down river. Caught in some branches at the side of the stream. You're planning to stay here, Annie? Yep. Sam and Nate was just asking me. They seem to think I'd pull out now that Jim's gone. Of course, it's kind of lonesome. <laughs> Come here, King. <laughs> now, if I just had a dog like you around... Annie, I... uh, would you like to have a dog? I sure would. Been planning to get one. I always wanted one, but Jim never liked him. That was the one thing we always argued about. He was so dead set against it that I didn't insist. Well, I'm looking for a home for one of my sled dogs right now. Yeah? Which one? Jinx, the big black one. He's half Newfoundland, best-natured dog on my team. He strained a tendon in his hind leg, and it keeps going bad on him all the time. Oh, I remember him. You mean you want to give him away? Well, I'd like to find a good home for him. 
They have another dog for me at headquarters to take his place. Well, where is he now? He's outside. Had to bring him home on leash, tied to the side of the sled. I'd sure like to have him, if he's friendly. I'll bring him in, Annie. If you like him, I'll leave him here with you. <laughs> Just stay here, King. I'll be right back. Come here, King. <laughs> that dog is half as nice as you. It'll sure be a pleasure to have him. Come on, Jinx. Think we found a home for you, fella. Well, here he is, Annie. What do you think of him? Oh, he's beautiful. What a big fella. Come here, Jinx. He's the biggest dog I have. You like him, Annie? Do oh, I like him? Why, we're going to be pals, ain't we, Jinx? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, he seems happy about the arrangement. I don't know how to thank you, Sergeant. Look at him, putting his big head in my lap. After all these years, I finally got a dog. Oh, 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 oh. Sam, I guess your scheme didn't work as well as you thought it would, you old fool. I never thought she'd try and mine that claim by herself after Jim was gone. Thought she'd give it up, go back to the States. If she keeps digging, she's liable to find out just how valuable it is. Uh, Looks as if we went to a lot of risk for nothing. Well, I ain't giving up now. She's dead set on working it herself. She ain't a woman who'll scare easy. You can tell that by looking at her. I wasn't thinking of scaring her. Jim had an accident. Ain't no reason why she can't have one, too. But you wouldn't want to hit her over the head the way you did Jim. She's a woman. It's bad enough All to All right, then. If it bothers your conscience, we'll just push her off the ridge into the river. Suppose you think drowning's easier. I'm afraid of it, Sam. It's too risky. Well, it ain't risky at all. Annie has to go that way every day on her way to the claim. We'll tell everybody we're going out of town. We won't be around here when it happens. And we won't be back for three days afterwards. Why three days? we got to stay away longer than that. Let somebody else take over that claim. we got to be here to watch our interest. Nobody else knows it's valuable. After Annie dies, somebody's liable to go snooping around. Now, you let me handle this. Tomorrow we'll pretend we're leaving town. In fact, we will leave town, but we won't go far away. We'll camp up the river for a week. And then, and he'll meet with an accident. Looking, how are you, huskies? Hello, Annie. Aren't you out pretty early this morning? Hi there, Sergeant. Didn't expect you back here this soon. Well, I made a quick trip. I can cover a lot of ground in a week with this dog game. Well, hello there, Jinx. How do you like him, Annie? Oh, he's the most wonderful dog I ever saw. And he sure likes to eat. Uh -huh. Speaking of eating, Sergeant, why don't you come and have supper with me today? Then I can show you some of those things I taught this dog you gave me. Well, won't you be too tired after working all day? No, I'll just give you part luck. Jinx and I are going to the claim right now, and we'll be back just after dark. You'll be here about then. I ain't got a watch. That's why I have to go by the sun. All right, Annie. Thanks. I'll be seeing you. Get going, Jinx. It's so black I can hardly see in the dark. Late. Sergeant Preston will be waiting. I didn't realize the time was passing so fast. <laughs> hey, what you after? I've seen a rabbit or something. Hello there. Who is it? Rabbit. Let me go. Sam, stop. Push him over. No, no. Help. Help. That takes care of her. I wonder what she's yelling. Sounds like she was calling Jim. <laughs> Maybe she thinks her dead husband can save her. <laughs> Listen. I guess that's the end of her. She won't stand a chance in them rapids. Let's get out of here fast. Back the way we came. Sergeant Preston stood in the door of Annie's cabin, looking anxiously into the darkness. His dog, King, stood beside him. Well, she should have been here long ago. wonder if we ought to look for her, boy. What is it, fellow? Did you hear her? Yeah, it's coming now, I guess. Sounds like Jinx. Annie, that you? What? It's Jinx, all right. Well, where's Annie? Come here, Jinx. Boy, fellow, you're soaking wet. Uh, what's this coat under your collar? A mitten. A wet mitten. Annie... Come on, Jinx. Go back, fella. Find Annie. Come on, King. Oh, 
Where is she, Jinx? Annie! Find her! Annie! Annie, it's Preston. Where are you? Here I am. I am both frozen. Well, at least you're alive. Here, I brought a blanket. Let me wrap you up. Dirty buzzard. Pushed me off in the river. Take it easy, Annie. You can tell me about it when we get back to your cabin. It's a miracle you weren't killed, Annie. Yeah, I wouldn't have been. Hadn't been for Jinx. I yelled for him with the last wind that was left in me. Lucky for me. He must have been at the edge of the river bank, and the river swept me right past him. Jumped in and swam out to me, and I grabbed him. That water was rolling around me like a tumbleweed in a tornado. Jinx is almost as big as a horse, and somehow he got me into shore. Did you send him home? Yep. I knew you'd be here for supper, so I stuck my wet mitten under his collar and told him to go home. Sure got bruised up in them rocks. Couldn't have got here alone. Well, we know now that Jim's death was not an accident. Sam and Nate wanted that claim. Funny. Certainly ain't a rich enough one to commit murder for. Maybe they know something about it that you don't. I wish I knew what it is. We may be able to find out soon, Annie. I'm going to take you into town and hide you for a few days. I'll spread the word that you're missing, and I'll keep an eye on Sam and Nate. <laughs> think it's a little too soon to be seen around Annie's claim, Sam? She's only been missing five days. Nobody's going to see us way out here. Searched all over this place once. They won't do it again. But Sam, maybe we'd better wait. Get going. We're going to open up that rich vein and get everything out of it. It's bigger than we think it is. We'll file a claim after all the excitement's died down. If it ain't, we'll take all we can out of it and get out of this territory. Nobody will be any the wiser. All right. Here goes. Yeah, that'll help you. There'll be rich men in no time. it would be worth all we did. <laughs> Poor Annie. <coughs> She'd known this was right under her nose. Hello, she... Sam. What? What's the idea of this? Oh, what? what? Oh, where'd you come from, Sergeant? Well, I just happened to see you coming this way. Well, uh, we, uh... That is, we heard Annie was missing, oh. and we, uh... Well, we thought we'd look over a claim, see if it was worth, uh... Well, taking over. And you seem to know just where to look, too. Well, nothing wrong about it. Annie hasn't any heirs. This place will be anybody's for the taking. Who said Annie was dead? Why, well, nobody. I just thought that I in case I ain't half she... as dead as you're going to be when they stretch your filthy neck at the end of a rope, you murdering well, barman. Well, well, Annie, where did you She's come from? She's been standing behind that clump of trees listening, well, what, Sam. Well, look out, Sergeant. Nate. Well, go away. No. Help. Take him off. Help me. I can't. Get away. Let him go, fella. Get Help him, boy. Well, that yellow little mongoose. He was going to murder you with that pickaxe. Should have let King eat him up. Get up, Nate. You and Sam are both under arrest for the murder of Jim Jones and the attempted murder of Annie. Watch them, King. Oh, Jim. He'd only had a dog like Jinx. Maybe he'd be alive. Well, Annie, at least you know now why they wanted your claim. They knew where the rich vein of gold was. Get going, you two. I'm taking you to jail. Watch them, King. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.